We start in Washington because with Joe Biden's inauguration less than a week away, the number of troops in the nation's capital grows larger. The National Guard says as many as 25,000 service members will protect the nation's capital. That's up from 21,000 just a day ago. And parking garages are near the Capitol. They will be sealed. Fences have been erected. And they're prepared for the worst-case scenario measures, including armed snipers, remote-controlled drone attacks, and a suicide aircraft entering the D.C. airspace. So joining us now to talk about further investigations into the Capitol's attacks from last week, we're joined by David Yaffe, Bellini, Bloomberg's legal reporter. Thank you for being here, David. To start us off, federal prosecutors say rioters intended to capture and assassinate elected officials. What type of charges are they facing? So, so far, nobody has been officially charged with trying to do something like that. Most of the charges have been a little bit more minor, focusing on offenses like trespassing, assaulting a police officer, um, obstructing an official ceremony, you know, obstructing a law enforcement officer. Those are the types of charges that we've seen so far. But um, federal prosecutors in Washington have promised that in the coming months, as this investigation intensifies, we'll start to see more serious charges come into play as well. Um, things like seditious conspiracy or felony murder um, uh, could start coming out of the table. And when it comes to those rioters, one in particular, Jacob Chansley, many people saw photos of him in a fur-clad outfit in a hat. And we know that he turned himself into the authorities last Saturday. He's being held in Phoenix, Arizona. But I want to play you something. His mother is worried about his well-being. So let's take a quick listen. He gets very sick if he doesn't eat organic food, literally. will get physically sick. Can't make this up. She said he'll get sick if he eats organic food. Uh, do you know the latest on the investigation in him? Does not. Does not, by the way. Sorry about that. So, yes. Uh, so, Jacob Chansley is currently being held in Phoenix. Um, and, and federal prosecutors, they are arguing that he should be continued to be held, that he shouldn't be released on bail. Um, and yesterday, they submitted a court filing, which revealed some new details about his participation in the riot. Um, the one that's gotten the most attention is a letter that he left on the dais that Mike Pence had stood at just moments before the rioters invaded the Capitol. And the letter said, it's only a matter of time. Justice is coming. And that was basically the grounds on which those prosecutors in Arizona alleged that some of the rioters were planning to capture or even assassinate elected officials. So they used that piece of evidence. There was also other strong evidence uh, that federal investigators said they found. Do you know a little bit more about that? Um, so there's plenty of evidence for Chansley's participation in, in the riot. I mean, obviously, his image was all over social media. There's really no question that he was actually in the Capitol. Um, in terms of solid evidence that, that rioters were in some kind of coordinated way seeking to capture and kill um, members of Congress or other elected officials, there's not a ton of substance yet. Um, the U.S. attorney in Washington, Michael Sherwin, said today that prosecutors are following breadcrumbs that sort of lead in that direction, but they haven't established solidly enough to charge anybody with doing something like that. Um, the thing is, in, in, in bail proceedings, prosecutors often sort of reveal their hand a little bit. They suggest things that they're investigating that they're maybe not ready to charge yet. And that appears to be what's happening in Arizona. You have prosecutors saying, you know, there's evidence indicating that uh, protesters had this goal in mind of capturing and killing elected leaders. But, you know, we're not necessarily able to show that yet. So they're looking at photos like the one that was just on the screen, um, social media, people. By the way, I've seen also that there are reports of specially created Instagram accounts, for instance, who are identifying some of the insurrectionists. But FBI um, officials are also looking at chatter online. And that's one of the ways that they found out about um, this particular person, Jacob. Is that... 
Yeah, I mean, these rioters charged into the Capitol in a spirit of total impunity. I mean, they clearly thought that this was something they weren't going to get in much trouble for doing, which is why they, in some cases, live streamed their entrance into the Capitol. They posted photos of themselves in the Capitol on social media. And in some ways, that's made it that's made it easy for federal officials to track them down. Um, the FBI, in particular, has just been deluged with tips. They say they've received more than a hundred thousand pieces of digital information pointing to people who were involved, family members of people who were involved have turned them in. You know, friends have alerted the authorities that certain people were there. And so this sort of nationwide dragnet has just kind of intensified over the last few days. And certainly, the social media evidence of what went on inside has been. A crucial part of that investigation. Okay, certainly shows how huge the scope and the size of this investigation is. Bloomberg's David Yaffe Bellini, thank you so much for joining us. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.